yeah guys those are done and we're just gonna put the syrup on now and we're gonna put a couple more put some more nuts and some more cranberry on and um, we're gonna take it from there yeah I think I'm just so happy okay guys so that's what they're looking like we are so pleased that we were able to mix those from scratch and even though I've never done it before but it was a great experience of course okay guys okay okay this morning we're gonna make a breakfast I have practically nothing in the house that I really want to make for breakfast and so um, I didn't do dinner last night I was too tired so uh, we're still in crisis cooking and this morning I felt like I would have some cup would have a cup of coffee and something sweet but there's nothing in the house sweet. I do have corn muffin but that's gonna have to go in the oven and 200 because I didn't have breakfast. I didn't have dinner last night. So I do have some flour, all-purpose flour here. I do have some eggs. I have some honey, and I do have some nuts. I'm gonna make a kind of mock muffin. It's going to be my kind of muffin. I have nothing in the house practically to make anything. So I'm going to use this cream roll because I have nothing else. All right, guys, we're going to try and we're going to see where we go with this here one. Okay? We don't know what we're doing. We're just going to try. A muffin's going to come out really good. All right? I know because I'm going to use my creative mind to do this. All right? Let's. No, pancake. Sorry. Why do I keep saying muffin? Pancake. It's going to be pancake. All right. So that's what I fell for this morning. Not muffin, but pancake. Let's go. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and take out just the amount of flour that I think I'm going to need for this breakfast. This all-purpose flour. And um, I'm just going to take out. Just a scoop like that. It's about a cup because I really don't want a lot, okay? So just a cup. I'm gonna put a quarter cup of baking powder in this camera. I'm gonna put, put quarter teaspoon of baking powder. I'm using the Davis's and I'm using this measuring spoon here. So let's go. I'm going to try to take out all the lumps if there's any lump in this flour we're just going to take that out what I'm going to think what I think I'm going to do just going to use this to take out all the lumps it's easier okay I'm going to set this aside okay we're going to go ahead and see if we can cut up these um, some of these um, nuts and berries I'm going to put that in also Let's go.
And these are really just cranberries. These are really pumpkin seeds, okay? So we're gonna do some pumpkin seeds. <laughs> okay guys, so now that we have all the ingredients that we want to put in, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and do the the powdered milk to go in now so and the eggs okay let's go Hey guys, we warmed up the water for the mix, for the coffee mate mix. So um, I don't want to put it in cold water because it becomes lumpy. When you put it in the warm water, it just like dissolves so quickly. So that's exactly what we're doing. Okay, 
Okay guys, so while we're waiting for the water to be ready for the coffee made, we're going to go ahead and put a bit of salt in, just about that much. I'm just using the regular salt. Actually, we're not using any kind of sea salt or anything like that today. So we're just going to use a bit of salt. Okay, with a bit of salt, I'm just going to put a pinch in. Okay. You're going to use just a, a teaspoon of honey, and we're using the Wesley Form Pure Honey. Okay. And we're just going to put a teaspoon in. And uh, since I don't have any other skillet, I'm just going to use a, a non-stick wide skillet because I don't have any other. I I do have a small one. I don't know where it is now. I have to look for it. But I'm too hungry to even look for that. So I'm just going to use something that's smooth. And this skillet is very smooth and non-stick. So that's the one we'll be using. Now that the water is boiled, I'm just going to pour that a little in. Half cup. And I've been mixing as I go to make sure it doesn't lump up or doesn't become um it does not have any kind of lump as you can see it's already look at that so if you don't mix it with the warm water that's exactly what's going to happen so I'm just going to mix this out with the warm water to make sure that all the lumps are gone. There is no lump in when we pour that into the mixture. And you're going to make, I'm just going to put this in the freezer to cool down for a minute. Or I could cool it down myself. I'm just going to try to see if I can cool it down myself. Yeah, you're going to make sure you um, cool down your, your milk if this is what you're doing. Because if you put the warm milk in the dough, it's going to start make, forming a dough like you're making bread or something. Or dumpling or something. You don't want that. So I'm just going to see if I can cool that down. Okay. I'm just going to move it from one container to the other to sort of cool this down. And that you can see I'm making a mess. So this is pretty much cooled down and ready to pour it in the, in the dough. Now we're going to try to see if we can pour this in the dough and we're going to mix as we go, okay? And since it's so much mixing, if you have a mixer like this, a whisper like that, use that instead of this small one because this small one is so much mixing. You want to mix on and make sure that all the lumps are gone and there is no lump. So it's really a lot of mixing, okay? Here we go. Okay guys, so we're pretty much done with the mixing and we're going to go to the stove. Now we need a little bit of butter and we're going to get that and we're going to go to the stove. Okay guys, so what we're going to do, we're going to be looking for the brown as 
the moment it started to get brown around the edges, that's when we're going to lift it, like round about now. Do yet another. And we're going to look for the brown edges. There you go. just make three four today okay so that's the final one you can see the bubble in everything once that is you flip it over you can see the bubble bubbles on the back of it you know that's done okay so it's time for the other side okay guys I think the third one is now done and so we're gonna move that on to the platter Okay guys, so these are done. These are done. These are done. So that's what we came out with. So we're gonna move them to the counter now and we are gonna get um on all the gonna put some okay guys so that's what they're looking like. We are so pleased that we were able to mix those from scratch and even though I've never done it before but it was a great experience of course and as usual we're gonna use okay that's the syrup we're gonna use on the original and um, yeah so that's exactly what they're looking like yeah guys those are done and we're just gonna put the syrup on now and we're gonna put a couple more, put some more nuts and some more cranberry on, and um, we're gonna take it from there. Yeah, I think I'm just so happy. Yeah, guys, those are just so beautiful. Those are very, very nice. I think I like them. Really do. Those are so nice. Beautiful. I think I'm gonna enjoy eating these just as much as we enjoy preparing these for you and your family. Okay, guys, so that's it. The actual the pancake that we've made from scratch. So we can we found out that you can just use ordinary flour with a few ingredients and come up with the same pancake as the mix or whatever else you do you know instead of going to the supermarket and, and have to buy the pancake mix from scratch we can really just um, use the ordinary flour sift it make sure no lumps in and with a few ingredients we come up with something that's beautiful like this what we want you guys to do is to go out there and try this breakfast try this this pancake um, very delicious meal and come back here and let us know how yours 
came out. I know this one is so delicious. We're going to make some coffee and we are going to be good to go. Our battery is dying. We're sitting our cold in the COVID-19 cooking, crisis cooking. And this is what we came up with when there was actually nothing in the house to make breakfast. So yeah, everybody can enjoy this. I know that Ella will enjoy that with coffee. The kids are gonna enjoy this with some orange juice and everybody else in between will find something to enjoy this with, milk or something. We are gonna have this with coffee. So until I see you guys again, we just wanna say thank you for stopping by and in accuracy while you're there i'm just going to take the first bite and see since we made this with a lot of effort we're gonna take the first bite and see how this one here comes out mm. oh my goodness this is just too good mm. oh my goodness Mm. Mm -hmm. Guys, we can't begin to tell you how good this tastes. With those nuts and the tangy taste of the cranberry out of this world. Oh my goodness. I want you guys to go out there and try this. And if it is at all tasty, we want to hear. I got to take another bite. We want to hear, guys. So, on behalf of my sister Min and myself, we're just going to say thank you for stopping by on your way out. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Until we see you on our next upload, we're going to be doing some a whole series of salads um, on our next se um, session coming up, shooting coming up. So, until we see you guys again, we're just going to say Ciao, La Bella. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye. And remember to subscribe. And I'm just going to go ahead with one more bite. Mmm. This is really good, God. So, bye-bye. See you soon. Be safe and stay healthy. All the best. Meg here, checking out. Bye-bye.